Welcome back. It is the touchline here on Y254. You have just been enjoying some of the best games and shows there from Kobe Bryant. And right now, we turn our attention fully focused on rugby. We've got the Kenya Cup that is going on. We've got the Las Vegas leg that is going on and will be starting tonight in Kenyan time. So, how are we performing? What is happening? And it is time to give you the preview of rugby. We had... Narwa Kamunya here who has been with us from the sports pages is also joining us for this segment and now joining us on my extreme left is Kikechi Kombo, the director of development at the Kenya Rugby Union. Welcome Mwalimu yeah. to the touchline. How are you doing today? No, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are adversaries. Yeah. 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 Big one. Okay. We've got the Las Vegas leg that is going on, squad changes that were made for the team there. But what was the major change that the coach made? Uh, well, both have been playing well. But yeah. now having uh, uh, t 10 legs to go. Yes. You see now, uh, it's the strategy of uh, the coach yeah. to make some changes. So mm -hmm. he brought in uh, Dan School at this time round. Mm -hmm. uh, then we also have Samuel Yates and uh, Oum also coming in and Oscar Dennis. Yes. Now they're traveling and find these are very experienced players. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward for a good match uh, today against South Africa. Yeah. So South Africa having made changes and uh, with yes. the injury of Impi Fisa and bring in uh, uh, Chris Dry. Mm -hmm. was one of those of the most experienced players. Yes. So I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate, but I know Kenyans will be able to hold them. In fact, the coach, you see how the yeah. African coach Paul yes. was saying that Kenyans are very physical mm -hmm. and having won in Hamilton yeah. uh, 40, 40, 35, 35, 16. Yeah. Uh, if if started at 35, 14, yeah. he feels today again Kenya might uh, make a surprise. A big one for 10, that. 35 PM. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we, we uh, the, the, the biggest challenge has been uh, why that gap is there, 70 yeah. against 26. Yes. Uh, we now taking the 11th position is uh, because of the changes of uh, the format of uh, the format the, of, yeah, play. of play. Yeah. Uh, but now having gone back to the old format, yeah. Uh, today hopefully we'll be able to do it because the last eight we play quarters. So it's one game at a time, and uh, how the co how the coach be able to prepare the players. Yeah. So we're looking forward for a, a big improvement today. This one. Yeah, uh, Las Vegas. Naro, mm -hmm. uh, Coach Paul Finney must be one of the lucky coaches in Kenya today to have a very big number, a big pool of players to select from. You can change, you can leave this one, you can bring this one in, mm -hmm. and also being an Olympic year, mm -hmm. our players yeah. are really performing at a level that you expect them to be performing at the moment? Um, first, on your first question, yes. Um, I don't think in the recent past you've had a Kenya Sevens coach who's had a very large pool of players. Yeah. And on that one, you have to give credit to the Kenya Rugby Union yes. and the technical team that has been involved in the last few years because uh, we have seen over the last few years uh, a transition from yes. the stalwarts of the games to new guys yeah. to the point where you have people like Vincent Onyala, Johnston Olindi, Daniel Tabu, who are in themselves very confident young players. Yeah. So that uh, merged with now the Andrew Amundes, Collins Injera, Samuel Leach, Oscar Oma. Mm -hmm. You have a wide pool of players to pick from. So mm -hmm. pool of players to pick from yes. for the Olympics. Now, when we touched on the Olympics, um, there's only one. There's a problem I've been seeing with the Kenya team. Number one, if they have have a very long layoff, they don't perform best in the first leg. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we saw in Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we saw in, um, was it Hamilton? Yes. Uh, Sydney. Sydney. Sydney, Sydney, sorry. Sydney. Well, the, yeah, they, they have a problem. Yeah. And, and I think it boils down to maybe uh, their conditioning. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so you hope that they'll be able to keep, on, keep up these stellar performances mm -hmm. because, I mean, it doesn't feel good one week you're beating South Africa 35 16 yeah. and then the next week you're losing to I don't know who you know yeah so it's something and I guess that's what Paul Finn is trying to do he's trying to see what's the best combination going into the Olympics yeah so I, I, I hope that they have a fantastic performance we must add Los Angeles is the first time it's the sevens is being played in Los Angeles yes this year having been in Las Vegas for the last few years mm -hmm. So um, we, are, we are hoping that they can have a fantastic show. And also there, they have got fans coming out for them. Yeah. Malimo, yeah. this time around, they are also going back to the old format yeah. because of, I think the, the, the women say they are not going to be performing there. Yeah. 
Does it give our boys a little bit of morale or help that when they play in the old format, they really performed very well compared to this new format that started this season? Yeah, because uh, you know, uh, oh, when you look at the uh, the new format, yeah. it was about uh, pressure. You know, you yeah. put a lot of pressure on these players because they, you know if you don't top the pool, then yes. you are out of a condition uh, yeah. condition for the finals, mm -hmm. and that's why the points are you already uh, minus sixteen points. Yes. So that's where it's a lot of pressure, and finally the coach, the mm -hmm. the coach were making substitution. Any small error, you make substitution. You are hiring, mm -hmm. but you see now with this one. Uh, the old format. You yes. see now, uh, if, if uh, the, the game will be balanced in such a way that there was no hurry and the coach will be able to select uh, his best players, uh, depending with the, the magnitude of the team. Yes. Yeah. Probably we we'll want to use certain players for South African game, uh, Canada, Ireland, yes. depending on the strength of the players. Yeah. So I feel uh, uh, LA, the old format is good, and that's where the players are also used and yes. uh, having these players playing circuit for many years uh, down the line. Uh, today round, uh, it'd be okay, and I know they'll be able to perform well, depending on how they are prepared and how they have also acclimatized in uh, in LA. Yeah, we are um, kicking off in Pool B against South Africa, mm -hmm. Ireland, and Canada. Canada. How do you expect of our performance? Um, first, it's good that the guys went there maybe a week before. Yeah. Because you know you're, go you're traveling to the west coast, there are issues yeah. to do with jet lag. Uh -huh. uh, so it's good for them to. I'm sure by now they've acclimatized yeah, sure. into the. Uh, LA, LA um, weather and, yes. and conditions. Um, I think it's going to be. I think we're going to do well against Canada and Ireland. We're going yeah. to beat them. The issue is South Africa. It's our first game. It's our also. first game. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> if the boys go out how they played in Dubai, for example, yeah. against South Africa, yeah. they lost, but it was a very competitive game. Yeah. Sure. If they go out all guns blazing, then by all by all means, I think yeah. they can take on South Africa. Yeah. And of course, the reintroduction of uh, Oscar Oma mm -hmm. and, and Samuel Lich mm -hmm. and Dan Sikuta. Yeah. It's a guys who've beaten South Africa numerous times. Yeah. So hopefully it should be good. Technically, yeah. where will we be looking at in this game to be won? Uh, we need to be uh, good in defense, retaining the ball, because South Africa are very fast. Yes. But if we retain the ball and we attack as a unit, yeah. uh, we defend well. We'll be able to lock out South Africa. Yeah. But if we allow we allow South Africa to run, they are very fast and they exchange the ball very fast. Mm -hmm. And the way they run, you see, the time we played and the uh, coach made made the opposition within the four the first four minutes. Yes. It's unacceptable. <laughs> so yeah, because mm -hmm. that's the pressure on how the South Africans were attacking. Yes. And finally, the knee was very close. Uh, yeah. The margin was very close. Mm -hmm. Where well, in Dubai and uh, and in, in, in Cape Town. Yeah. The, uh, against when we played against South Africa, and here the coach went ahead and made the changes yes. and then he had also seen how South Africa were playing uh, in, 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 Sydney, uh, in Sydney, so uh, sorry in Hamilton. Yes. So the, 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 the best thing is uh, once we put all the system in place, the breakdowns we are okay, yeah. we'll be able to win that, uh, that game. Then we also put them under pressure. Right. Okay, yeah. Kenya's first game will be again in South Africa at 10.35 p.m. On Saturday evening, this evening actually, and then the second game against Ireland will be in the morning at 1:31 a.m. And then we'll be finishing the pool with Canada at 5:35 on Sunday morning. So be there to be watching that. But the Los Angeles leg is not the only thing that is happening in rugby. That is our team that is out there. But also, mm -hmm. we come back home mm -hmm. and Kenya Cup is as hot as it can get in our... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, <laughs> we're in the last week of the league format. Yes. Uh, because after this uh, week, uh, then we move into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, which is, of course, knockout rugby. Yeah. So, of importance this weekend is uh, the fact that Western Bulls and Kisumu have been confirmed yeah. as the ones who are going down. Yeah. Um, we have uh, number six the number six position, yeah. uh, which is up for grabs. Yes. Uh, I think it's between Mwamba and Nakuru. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have a game... Actually, there are three teams that are yes. fighting for that. That's yes. Mwamba, Oilers, Oilers and, Nakuru. and Nakuru. Sorry, I beg your pardon. It's Mwamba, yeah. Oilers and Nakuru. Yeah. Yeah. Mwamba is playing... Um, is playing uh, on this yeah. at Jamhuri Park at 2 p.m. Yeah. Actually, the game should have started. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then you have uh, Oilers who are hosting Kenya Harlequins. Yes. And then you have uh, Western uh, Nakuru who have been Western given a walkover. Against Western Bulls, yeah. Western Bulls are not going to be traveling. Yeah. So they already have that sixth position by yeah. virtue of the fact that they've been given a bonus point win. Yeah. So it's 
gonna heat up, and of course, there's that, there's that game people are not talking about, which is KCB versus Homeboys. KCB, yeah, home, a, a decide. I decide. Yeah. Homeboys have played very well this season. Yes, sure. uh, you can't underestimate Homeboys. Yeah. Are they actually the only team that have defeated KCB? Then Cabras, them and Cabras. Cabras. Them and Cabras. Cabras. Yes, they've, they've, they've defeated KCB. Yeah. So they play also. Uh, I think it's pretty set. Uh, KCB will be number two, Homeboys will be number three. Mm -hmm. But then they'll be testing each other because once it comes to the playoffs, mm -hmm. there's a very high chance that they could meet in the semifinals. Yeah. So they'll be testing each other to see, you know, who's 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 who who's got it before yeah. before the big Let me ask, Malum. Yeah. Is this the year that we are going to see Cabras dethrone KCB from the Kenya Cup title? Because KCB have been really been dominant yeah. in the Kenya Cup. Cabras have been knocking on that door. They've been knocking on that door. Yeah. Last year they lost at the bull ring uh, to KCB home yeah. and away. Sure. But they won the Enterprise Cup. Yeah. Does it give us hope that this time around Cabras can actually dethrone the Lions? Uh, well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's difficult to predict as uh, per now. Because yes. uh, the way things are changing, you find that um, Cabras also have gone back. Yeah. or to look at where they have lost. Mm -hmm. But see, KCB also is uh, working out to maintain and also uh, to, 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 to improve on the areas of weakness. Yes. And uh, you find that KCB has also maintained their coach, and their coach is uh, a man who has gone with the team on the, at the finals and has won against Cabras. Yeah. So it's, uh, it, it's how, it depends on how they prepare the, the boys' men. Then. But we, we, we cannot forget about uh, the homeboys also. Homeboys yeah. are also, uh, also contenders for this title, yeah. and more so with the complication of uh, the, the Hong Kong and the Singapore. Mm -hmm. whereby they, they, they played later. So yes. even all the seven players for homeboys will be able to be back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the Bufa, uh, Alvin Otieno will be back, Jeffrey will be back. Uh, that other player, so a very, very good player. Johnston Olindi. Jo no, it went to KCB. So, yeah, sorry, he went yeah. to KCB, he went to KCB. Yeah, so, so Bushmale. Yes. Yeah. Yes. These are very good players and they're coming and they're going to to be back for, for the semi finals. Yes. So if, uh, we can't rate homeboys out of uh, of this, this this title. And the way they are playing now, they're yeah. playing very well. Remember when they were when they were at the Lions then, yeah. they were leading. Home, uh, home boys, uh, sorry, uh, KCB scored in the last minute, yes, and that's how they, 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 they won against home boys. But home boys were winning, and also the, the yellow card. Yeah. So, if they work on the improve on the disciplines and they work on the department of weakness, uh, probably uh, the DJ might take it easier because uh, the way I've looked at it, uh, <laughs> it's uh, a bit difficult anyway. Yeah, it, but it, I'm it, saying, as uh, yeah, we go to the finals yeah, and yeah. how the seventh players will come in yeah. and how the coach will be able to prepare the boys, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, we might see a difference this time around. I, 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 I did just a bit uh, yeah. for the seventh players yeah. uh, because uh, even from a conditioning perspective um, how you condition for the game of sevens and how you condition for the game of fifteens are two different things mm -hmm. so I don't think it's going to be as seamless and I don't think they'll have a serious impact yes. uh, on, on how uh, the teams play uh, fifteens is a different ball game altogether if you ask me but do I think Cabras can dethrone KCB this year mm -hmm. uh, they've shown it Yes. Uh, they've been consistent. I think Cabras' problem has always been mental. Uh -huh. It has been nothing to do with their capability. Yes. It has always been from a mental perspective. Whenever they face up against KCB, they yeah. always choke for yeah. some reason. Uh -huh. And if they're able to, uh, if they're able to get over that hurdle, uh -huh. then it, it should be, it should be Cabras' year. But again, uh -huh. look, uh, there's something that KCB know how to do and they know how to do it well. Uh -huh. And that is win. Win. Yeah, and you yeah. cannot take that away. <laughs> <laughs> Big matches that are coming your way this afternoon on Kenya Cup. We have got the, an early kickoff there between Nondis and Mwamba at 2 p.m. It's actually a double header at the Jamori Showground. Then at 4 p.m. will be Homeboys versus KCB. In Nakuru, there was a walkover, and Nakuru will have got the points again. Like, against Western Bulls have been relegated. Then Impala Saracens play home to Kisumu. Then Black Blood of Kenyatta University are playing also home to Cabras. And then Oilers versus Kenya Harlequin will finish off March Day 14 of the Kenya Cup. It has also been a big improvement yeah. from Black Blood. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. expected at the start of the season that mm -hmm. Black Blood was actually relegation bound. Mm -hmm. But in the last, I think, three match days, mm -hmm. They have changed their way yeah. of play and they are winning matches. I mean, they beat Impala. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they beat Impala. So yeah, and homeboy, even and, and, also, and, yeah. yeah, so I mean, yeah. Blood have played very well. Yeah. Uh, to, especially towards the end, the end yeah. of yeah. the Kenya Cup season. Yeah. Blood, Blood has played yeah. some fantastic uh, yeah. rugby. Yeah. My, my, only, my only thing about Kenya Cup this year has been um, oh, uh, from a standards perspective, I feel yes. like the standards have dipped a bit. 
uh, in the 15th game. Yeah. Um, and and it's, it's a combination of very many things. You have the dominance of Cabras and KCB, of course, mm -hmm. because they have the money. And Homeboys, yes. uh -huh. because they have the money. And uh, they've raided the other teams. teams. Have to struggle These other teams will have to standard. struggle. And maybe, I mean, uh, Bonacombo is here. <laughs> maybe yeah. it's time the union start thinking about making Kenya Cup attractive enough for a corporate sponsor. You know how you have the Barclays Premier League or something like that? Yes. Making it attractive enough for a corporate sponsor just to side with Kenya Cup. You know, to improve the standards of the game. Yeah. I know there are plans for Super Series to come back. Yeah. Because Super yeah. Series had also really helped in terms of uh -huh, the standards yes. of the mm -hmm. game. Yes. So I, I'm only hoping that um, we, going forward, we have seen now what has happened in this season. Mm -hmm. There's nothing much we can do about this season. Yeah. That one is done. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there have been some very positive <coughs> things to note. Yeah. You've talked about Blood's performance. Yeah. You've talked about Amenenga yeah. Our yeah. uh, Homeboys have played very well. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I can only imagine the kind of performances these teams can be putting up if they have the resources that yes. KCB and Cabras have. Yeah. yeah. We, we yeah. Just, uh, Sorry? Well, let me go ahead. Yeah, I think the way you said, uh, we, the, we have the structures, and Kenya Rugby now put up the structures uh, yes. to make uh, the league attractive. Yeah. And uh, one of the areas that we've met, uh, what we're looking, we, we're trying to create up more uh, more leagues and also exposure to the players. Yes. Uh, like uh, we have Victoria, uh, Victoria Cup. Victoria Cup, uh, yes. So we find that we uh, expose more players to the international uh, rugby. Yes. Uh, we have the French, the way he's saying, the local mm -hmm. finals will be able, not be able to make it to the national team, can also be able to, to play. Yes. And I find that that also goes back to South Africa. Look at the Stormers, the way he's playing now in Super Rugby. Yes. Having won World Cup and mm -hmm. a big chunk of the players they are playing for Stormers. Yes. Um, find that now they are winning all the matches, they are topping the Super Rugby uh, League. Mm -hmm. So it's the same way if we, 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 we expose our national team, the way yes. we've put out the structure now with the Kenya Rugby mm -hmm. Union, we find that the, probably next year uh, the league will have completely changed because of yeah. the exposures of uh, these young, young men playing for the national team in uh, different uh, leagues. And also we have a program for yes. one to take them to Fordocom uh -huh. and then coaches also identifying some of the players to be attached uh -huh. to the uh, teams in South Africa. Yes. So when they come back, you find it to the people to attract more people yeah. uh, to go and watch. Uh, the issue of money is there. Well, clubs have money, but mm -hmm. so this, uh, they're growing uh, progressively. Look at Oilers. Well, yeah. they also have money, but look at the portion they are now. Mm -hmm. And probably uh, one too. of the team will be locked out in the <laughs> in Akuru, yes. in either Akuru or Oilers. Oh, Oilers yeah. yeah, but I think uh, we also need to work on a program where we expose the players from this particular team and make the leagues be competitive. I, I want to say one thing, yeah. and um, you know where, where we are right now with sports. Yes. There's one thing we can never avoid, and it's the fact that without money, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. yeah. We can put up all the structures, mm -hmm. but if you don't have money, there's nothing you yeah. can do. Yeah, yeah. We can have all the plans to take these guys to South Africa. I mean, we did it in 2014. We saw the effect that it had on the 15th game yeah. 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 in the country, yeah. mm -hmm. but because of lack of money, we were unable to sustain it, mm -hmm. right? So we have to look for that money yeah. uh, because that's the only way we'll be able to maintain these programs. But you, you see, mm -hmm. so, sometimes I, in my own perspective, I also come to say our Kenyan companies mm -hmm. don't have a culture of supporting one brand of sport. Yes. Yeah, our traditional companies, we, we have had a, all the time we as media people, we go out there and we talk about sponsorship and everything, mm -hmm. yeah. we usually put it on the hands of the federation. Mm -hmm. It's usually that these federations are corrupt, these federations mm -hmm. are not transparent mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. But also when you flip the coin and come from the corporate perspective, yeah. you realize that our <coughs> own companies don't go out there and support our own. Look at a company like Ketepa. Yeah. It has been in existence, I think, since the 40s, since yeah. the 30s. Yeah. Yes. But it has never identified itself even with one sport to go there and say, can I support this sport go forward? Yeah. But you know, many of these guys, let me tell you, from a co you, you see, it is not, and I'll go back to a conversation we were having off air yes. about like Western leagues and, and specifically uh -huh. the NBA. Yes. You see, it is not, I am a corporate, if yeah. I'm a corporate organization, it is not my work to go and source for the sports. Mm -hmm. It yes. is the other way around. It's for the sporting federation to come and tell me, I think this is why we should partner Yes. With you. Now, I agree with you on the fact that there's a lot of ignorance on the corporate side. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, again, we keep on looking at sports as a pastime. You know, that's another thing. Not yeah. as a professional. Not, not as a professional, as a business. Product. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's another problem because when the corporates look at it that way, then you don't expect to get a lot of support. But yeah. on the flip side, you see, I, 
uh, if I'm a corporate, I want a story to be sold to me. Yes. And see why I should identify. We see it very happening very well in golf. Mm. Okay. With yeah. Absa and Magical Kenya. Yes. Uh, it is to happen in rugby. We've mm -hmm. gone through our problems, but mm -hmm. it is to happen in rugby. We have to identify. We have to identify our pluses. Mm -hmm. We have to identify our strong points. Yeah. And we have to go and tell these brands this is why you need to identify mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. I was being told. Uh, I don't know if uh, Morim was in attendance, but I was being told that the Kenya yeah. Rugby Union had uh, a breakfast with the stakeholders of rugby yeah. this yeah. week, uh -huh. and yes. I had a, one of the comments that was said is that. The Saru, which is a South African rugby union, yes. has a budget of $200 million for the 2023 World Cup. Oh, yeah. They're already in play. Yes. And I said, okay, fine, we can't match up with those guys. But the reason why these guys have a budget of $200 million is because they're not only depending on sponsorship. Uh -huh. And yeah. those are some of the things I have been challenging the union to come up with. Mm -hmm. If you go to South Africa, if you go to Cape Town, for example, they have a Springbok Museum. Uh -huh. Yes, which is money Saru make off oh, yeah. because if you tour the museum, you have to you pay. Have to pay. To pay. And rarely will you live. <laughs> when I went there, mm. by the way, a small thing. I left with a mug mm. and a cigarette lighter for a friend of mine. <laughs> yes, that's money they've made, however small it is. Mm. Yeah. Um, so those are some of the things I wish I would be seeing in Kenya because mm. the two hundred million dollars doesn't come from MTN alone, right. with Saru's title sponsor. Or the government. Or the right. government, you yeah. know, I, I'm sure even the government doesn't give them too much money. Yes. No. Most of the money comes from internal things, making it very attractive mm. for corporates to sponsor with you. And I always go back to a story I was being told by somebody who was part of the 15s team when 15s was at the height. Yeah. They went to visit former president, yeah. uh, Mwai Kibaki. Yeah. And Mwai Kibaki was challenging the other unions. Yeah. Why can't you guys run like Kenya Rugby Union? Mm -hmm. These guys never come to us to ask us yes. for money. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. We never, by the way, it is unheard of. I won't lie to you. I haven't been a rugby fan. It's only now that I hear rugby asking for money from the government. It was unheard of those days. Mm -hmm. oh. So those are the things mm -hmm. I'm hoping that yeah. Malim Kombo and his team <laughs> <laughs> can do. Yeah, but yeah. see now, also the sports is changing and uh, the government yeah. is now taking it seriously, unlike in the past, yeah. where by now they have set up a sports fund. and yeah. find that They're they asking are, for your budget. Yeah, they're advance. asking for your budget and they're mm -hmm. coming to federation. Yes. And so you find that you have to comply with what they need. Kenya, uh, Kenya Rugby, being one of the federation, they also submitted yeah. uh, a budget for, mm -hmm. for the next uh, one year. Yeah. So it's, it is a requirement. But the way you say we uh, Kenya Rugby Union has also put up um, uh, measures of uh, attracting the sponsors, and the way he said, and yes. uh, our chairman, Audor Gangla, is on the forefront, um, talking with uh, big people locally, and also we are looking outside the, the border. Yes, uh, just look like uh, uh, Inos, who, who knew that uh, the one that sponsored Keep Choking. Keep Choking, yes. Yeah. So such a company is outside there. Yeah. So we pro we're also working out to reach to some of these companies mm -hmm. there. They are not known. That's why we're going to have this program that we're going to do it quarterly. Yes. Uh, last week on Tuesday we had a meeting here uh, in Westlands mm -hmm. so we're looking again for another one mm -hmm. uh, people and so that people asking yeah. uh, where are you guys you bring your proposals we want to put we money to put in drug money into, yeah. Yeah. yeah so put the money in the federation and also put money on the on the clubs yeah. so mm -hmm. also uh, on the leagues yeah. people to have Kenya Cup we also have the nationwide mm -hmm. and the championship mm -hmm. so we're looking for that kind of uh, sponsorship and it'll be able to to come and mm -hmm. it also needs about how we prepare ourselves and how we package ourselves as uh, the this union this conversation can go on all the way and it cannot come to an end so <laughs> Naro, which game will you be following this ah, afternoon? of course i mean i think all roads all, oh, sorry I beg your pardon. all roads are leading to jamuri park yeah. um wamba versus nondes has already started yeah. and of course um the big one kcb versus homeboys not only will you enjoy that you'll also have a chance to watch super rugby yes and the uh, and the and the, and the uh, los angeles sevens yeah yeah, yeah. Well, for yeah. you you're yeah. also heading yeah that, for that the bohella in uh, gong road yeah and i'll be in ready mm -hmm. for the night game to Shia Kenya uh, play the L sevens today. Well, I won't sleep today. If you are a rugby fan and you are a serious rugby fan, actually people are not going to sleep today because we play South Africa at ten, we play Ireland, Ireland at one, one yeah. and then we Canada play Canada five. at five in the morning. Mm -hmm. And before that, during the day, you have got all the matches in the Kenya Cup to enjoy yourself with. I'm Robert Osole in for the touchline here. It has been Ngarwa Kamunya here who has come for us here and as always, Malimu Kikechi Kombo was here to, with us for the rugby preview. Let's uh, take a short commercial break and enjoy some highlights of the Europa League. When we come back, it's all about the fan zone. <laughs>